Well, the unit just came in. We'll get it off of here. I believe it's on a pallet. Cut this cardboard open and uh, see what this thing looks like. Looks like it might actually just pull right off. Cut new wires. Should just be able to uh, hook up to the compressor and water and pretty much go at it. I'll just push it. Footers, 5,000 pounds, work for the side-by-side, -side, work for a uh, compressor. It don't matter. Why is it doing it still? Oh, it's just gonna rip through. Yeah, hey, I think it's fine, I think it'll do. She ain't going nowhere. We'll see getting it off now. This will be a project. gonna be fun well, shout out to Lowe's for the compressor and uh, the RPS rig for picking it up oh we lost a strap in a matter of five minutes <laughs> looks like the thing did it break yeah it snapped. snapped off in half nice <laughs> she made it somehow what's your approach here how, how is this uh, how's this coming off here that someone, well, I was gonna leave the strap on it, and we dumped the trailer, and then someone holds it, unhook the strap, pull it back, get a cart, you got a cart? That's a bad idea. Well, she made it, thanks to the boys. She's in the garage. Now to uh, do everything else. The process of wiring this thing up so I can get going on the rest of the RM build. So we're just temporarily setting it up here and then I'm gonna run the air hose up, down, around, and then into the actual unit right here temporarily. I'm just gonna run it straight down and then I'll just have it hooked up right there. Um, this is like a short-term setup until I figure out what I'm actually gonna do, but we'll get this all ran and get it done. All right, so I finally have this thing completely done, completely ran and uh, I could start using it. I did a test run last night on some parts in here. For the temporary setup, I just ran the line all the way up, up and around, followed that, and then right into the compressor. Um, I, I gotta take this thing off and then actually bolt it to the ground, but temporarily, I didn't know if this is where it was gonna sit, if I wanted to move it, if I wanted the compressor um, over here or over here, but the way uh, the electrical ran in the basement, um, we had the box that comes out from the bottom, so we just directly wired it to that. Um, I actually have to come to find out after running it, trip the breaker, so we got to upgrade that to a 25 amp breaker, and then uh, this thing should be fine uh, to run all the time because we ran it, filled it up to the 175, and then it never actually, like I used it for a while trying to drain it to see when the compressor would re-kick on, and then actually uh, fill back up, and it never did, it ran all the way to zero, so. Trip the breaker, um, we adjusted it, I think, so it would do it at uh, 90 PSI, it would restart up, test it out, see how it does, and then uh, we'll get going on the rest of this video, get all these nasty RM125 parts vapor honed, all cleaned up. We'll do, I don't know if I'm gonna get to all of it today, but um, we'll get some of these parts thrown in here, show you what the vapor honing cabinet can do, and uh, get some stuff done. Other thing I forgot to get was a stool, I gotta find a temporary setup um, so I can sit down and do this. I guess it's pretty time consuming to uh, kind of hold the gun and spray it little by little. If you guys haven't seen one of these vapor honing cabinets, um, this is all the same cabinet that was used to do all the previous bike builds to clean everything up. Pretty simple unit. Um, we have the drainage right here, which will go into a bucket after. Um, the media will last about a month, a month and a half to two months, depending on how much you use it. So when I got to drain it, I drain it there. Uh, airline, air hose, whatever, air coming in, and then I can actually adjust the pressure right here. Um, so say I go to higher pressure to get most of the bulk of the stuff off. Back here, we got a bunch of other little stuff and connectors and the, uh, the timer for when I want the sprayer to spray on the front windshield. And I guess we can open it up, give you a little look in here. So pretty much down there, you just put the media in the water. Pretty simple, not too much to the thing. 
But uh, I know a lot of people uh, probably haven't seen one of these or don't know what it is. Um, but I'll leave it linked in the description. You'll see what this thing can do here in a minute once I get some parts in there and uh, get going on cleaning some stuff up. The whole thing's controlled with a foot pedal and then it actually will kick on and uh, spray water. This RM125 everywhere. If you guys haven't seen the past RM125 build series videos, you could check those out. And if you're new here and you just found this video from the vapor honing cabinet stuff, make sure you're subscribed, like the video. But I have this thing, I pretty much have all the parts in to do the RM125. So this thing should be built up here in the next month or so. Get the stuff back from powder coat. I should have a pretty much brand new RM125 by the time we're done with it. So the first run on a part, we'll do the head. Here is a before look. Actually, I'll bring it outside so you can get full look on how throw it in the machine. And I'll show you what this thing can do. Boom, we got my fancy uh, custom chair here too. So there's a little test, then I'll come back to you once it's fully done. I got Joe working, testing it out. Can't really see anything right now, but it's almost done. Right, and then here it is, after a little bit of work, bring it out in the sun. This thing looks so good. Way better than brand new. Try and get a couple good angles on it. But uh, compared to what it was before, let me know in the comments what you think, but I really don't think it could get too much better than this. Get going on some other stuff here. We'll pop some more parts in there, time lapse some stuff, and uh, get a before and after on the rest of these parts here. So here's a little before look on this. Nice and dirty. See how it looks when we're done. I just finished this up pretty much. Got most of that dirt and grime off, as you can see. Came out pretty good. What I'm gonna do for the majority of these parts, I think I'm gonna save the cases and stuff for last because these are definitely the worst part and will be the best before and after. So stay to the end of the video if you wanna see these done up and then I'll put the whole engine together as if it was done. Like I'll just put a couple uh, bolts in there, just mock it up. Now we got the heavy hitters, we got the cases here. Look at how dirty and grimy these are. So almost pretty much, I mean, I have a couple of little things like the cylinder, I gotta tear that apart. Being guide, a couple other little aluminum parts. I have to do the triple clamps on the forks, get those off, gonna do the shock, uh, the tank, the air box, and the subframe. Can't wait any longer, I just wanna see these things done. So we'll pop these in there. So here's a first look, kind of uh, not fully finished, but pretty much all the bulk of the stuff off to get a good idea in the sun here. Literally took all that dirt and grime off. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take a little more time, kind of get more stuff out of the insides, but I gotta get that JB weld off too, grind that off, or just pry it off, heat it up or something, and then vapor hone that part. But compared to where it was before, this thing is super clean. Once I'm done and I get the cylinder done, I'll, uh, I still got to scrape off the gasket, but um, once I get the cylinder done, we'll put the cases together and we'll see how it's going to look uh, when it's done up. We'll actually compare it, compare this to a brand new bike and uh, you can take your, whatever your opinion on what you think is cleaner. So 
I'd say that's pretty spot on. Definitely shinier than stock or a brand new bike. That's for sure. And this isn't even like a full, full polish on it. So it's going to be so clean back over here. Here's some other pieces, the other case. I don't know if I showed get this in the sun. One that's actually dried up to get that shine on there. This thing is spotless. It came out so good, but we'll move on to the cylinder. Now get that thing torn apart. All right, and here's a full look on all the stuff that I got done. Still gonna go over it one more time um, to make it shine even better, but here's the mock-up on the engine. All done up. Came out really, really good. And this isn't even in the sun. This is just like a basic clean. So here's a good look on what that vapor honer can do. All done up, and then I got the triple clamps done right here. Get those in the sun. These cleaned up really nice. Give it a better angle. Nice, that's not good. Better angle on these things. These came out really clean. I'm not sure if I want to powder coat these. What I want to do with them or just leave them like this. I'm trying to make up my mind on that, but regardless, they'll look good, uh, just cleaned up. Let's so look on this stuff. A couple other angles on it. And then we have, we have all the braking stuff. This cleaned up good. I'm not gonna use this lever, don't worry. We got all the radiators. There's still, a, quite a bit of work to do um, which will probably be a next video showing the rest of the stuff but this is a good kind of intro to the vapor honing cabinet more so just showing that I got one and now I can just do everything pretty much myself uh, the swing arm is gonna take a while I just did a light blast on this um, the problem is with the swing arm it has a uh, some coating on it so I'm really gonna have to take my time like up here um, you can see so say the shinier part is what this whole thing's gonna look like but I just really have to take my time and go slow with it. I just wasn't being patient. I wanted to finish up all the cases and get that done at least to finish off this video. So got to pop this back in there, finish it up. Ideally, if I had a sandblaster, I probably should pick one of those up so I can sandblast like heavier stuff first, then put it in the vapor blaster to uh, shine it up and clean it up even better. But probably should just go to Harbor Freight, get like a $100 blast cabinet and just run that. But for the time being, I'll probably just do it by hand with the wheel those like pads clean that up this is all the heavy hitting stuff at least that get the best before and after see how it does with all the plastics and rubber in next video well, besides that just this stuff down here a few other miscellaneous radiator stuff little pieces to go through like i said if you guys want to see this rm 125 take shape get finished up here in the next few weeks make sure you're subscribed like the video for finally getting on this rm 125 i just got the final package of all the engine stuff all the bearing stuff in today so we're almost there pretty much the next couple videos will be reassembly getting this thing built back up and uh having the reveal here on the channel coming here shortly so look out for that if you want to stay uh up to date on everything as i'm doing it you can follow my instagram pages at tyler monigan and at project two strokes and uh you'll see everything before i post the videos so on that i'll see you guys in the next video